Hi, first graders. I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas break. I know Mrs. Bean is, and I, sh oh, there's Phoebe. She came to say hi. <laughs> I'm having a wonderful Christmas break, but I miss you all so much. And I just couldn't wait to share some of the stories I got from Santa with you until we got back from break. So I really wanted to share one now. And this story is called A Flower in the Snow. And if you remember way back when you first began first grade, we learned about plants and we learned about what they need to grow. So think about throughout the story, do you think this book is fiction or nonfiction? Do you think a flower really could grow in the snow? Either way, Mrs. Bean just loves this story. Can't wait to read it with you. A Flower in the Snow. And this story is by Tracy Corduroy and Sophie Alsop. A Flower in the Snow. In an icy kingdom far away lived a little girl called Luna. Her happy smile sparkled like the snow. Luna loved to dance through snowflakes or catch them on her tongue or even leave little tiptoe patterns everywhere. But there was one thing Luna loved more than all of these. He was big and soft and cuddly and was Luna's best friend, Bear. Luna and Bear belonged together like peanut butter and jelly and everywhere, everything they did, they did together. <laughs> Skating on a frozen lake, rolling giant snowballs, or even catching a cold. Luna lived in an igloo, which is like an ice house. And Bear lived in a snow cave in her little garden where one bright day, something most unusual popped up. It was a flower. A dancing yellow flower. How pretty it is, thought Bear. Then carefully he picked it up for someone special. Just look at its face, smiled Luna. My little sunshine flower. I've never seen anything so beautiful. I'll treasure it forever. But all too soon her flower wilted. As the last petal fell, so Luna's, sparkly spot, so Luna's sparkly smile disappeared. And nothing, absolutely nothing, would bring it back. Here's Bear trying to make Luna smile, but she's just so sad. Eventually, Bear knew what he had to do to bring it back. Luna's smile, and so away he sailed to find another sunshine flower. The next day, Luna searched everywhere for Bear. Then at last, she found a note. And the note says, Gone to find a sunshine flower. Love, Bear. From then on, every night, Luna would gaze to the moon. Please come home tomorrow, Bear, she'd whisper. And every morning, she'd rush to his cave, peep through the little window. Bear! she'd call, but he was never there. Far, far away, Bear searched for his special gift for Luna. Along dusty, wind-swept tracks, through the deep, dark jungles, down soft, grassy hillsides, and across hot, sandy deserts. But though he hunted high and low, He couldn't find a sunshine flower. Then, one crisp, twinkling night, a snowflake kissed his nose. How good it felt, so cold and light, it was time to go home to Luna. So Bear set sail once again, and tall waves tossed his boat. Through days and nights, he held on tight until at last he landed on the icy shores of home. 
How do you think Luna's gonna feel when she sees Bear? I bet she's gonna feel happy. Bear was so sad that he had no gift for Luna, but seeing her again was all that mattered. But Luna wasn't dancing through the snowflakes or making tiptoe patterns in the snow like she used to. Bear began to worry. And then he saw her. <gasps> Bear! cried Luna, you came home! But I didn't bring your gift, Bear answered so sadly. Oh, Bear, smiled Luna, you are my gift. As long as you are here with me, I'm happy. Then taking his big soft paw, Bear, come with me, she said. There's something very special I have to show you. What do you think it is? When the last petal fell from the sunshine flower, some little seeds were left. So I planted one, smiled Luna, and watered it every day. Look what it grew. And then from her pocket, she took Bear's note and carefully unwrapped it. I've been saving these seeds to plant with you, she said. So Luna and Bear planted the seeds and cared for them each day. And before long, a sunshine meadow danced in the snow. Now hiding among the flowers are butterflies and bees and snails and spotted ladybugs. and two very best friends. The end. I absolutely love this story because Luna and Bear are happy with whatever they do as long as they're doing it together. Do you have a best friend that you love to do anything and everything with? I bet you do. Mrs. Bean really misses all of you and I hope you are having the best break and I can't wait to give you all a hug when I get back. We'll see you soon.